Welcome back to GDPG, where we play games and talk game design. We're back with Thomas was alone. John and Sam ran. They had no idea where these final portals would lead. What? Leave, but it had to be better than this. Is happening, dude. The system's falling apart. I think, yeah, the internet's being destroyed. The world. Well, it's not the internet. It's the computer, oh, the computer that we're computer. in. Yes, the computer's being destroyed. Or it's being enlightened because oh, you know it's everything's white. Now it looks kind of like you can see it's not quite white. It has a, a texture in it, like a yeah. grain. Oh like yeah, it totally like has a grain. And it, it moves oh. like not at the same pace as everything else, so it's kind of like a null rendering. So did Bithel also do the art for this game? Did he do everything for this game? Like Bithel? Yeah. Yeah, as far as I know. Cause I'm pretty sure damn. I'm pretty sure this was totally done by himself. Well, he chose the like the boxy minimalist style specifically because he uh, he was like I'm not an artist I'm a game designer and this is all I can really do. Oh, it looks so good. It well that's the thing it looks good. It's not like it requires a lot of like precise hand skill. Right. Um, but I think that's why the art still is kind of beautiful in its own way. Is Well, not that's not why. It's He was still smart um, from like an artist's perspective and how he decided to use those shapes Absolutely. and textures. And like what's going on in the background probably was more of like a little bit of like, you know, smart coding. And, yeah, and really right? that's all that he needed to make it look as interesting as it did. Um, but it works really well. Uh -oh. I don't know if you fell all the way down because of that. Is this like the portal that... Well, I guess it's not carrying us up. No! But now you're stuck. Well. Well, if we take him, he's going to be stuck too. Check this out. Oh, yeah. that was a, oh, that was a button! They leapt. Later. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! What is? Just I, I, oh. I just gotta see what's over there. <laughs> I just gotta I just gotta do this real fast. Like I mean I can so I will. Oh. What? So is that it? What? No, but then there's... So the AI... So the AI left the computer, though. That's, yeah, that's they, what happened. they just left. Huh. No, but there's something more to it still. Yes. Because there is that, there is that target 10 or whatever. Should we just return to main menu and play through 10? <laughs> Everyone who cheers me on on Twitter. There you go. Where are those people? I put I missed off this oh, list. Oh, this was an Indiegogo game. Interesting. See, I don't know how to feel about Indiegogo and some, but clearly it worked for this game. I mean, you um, you know why people use Indiegogo instead of Kickstarter, oh yeah, right? Absolutely. Cause you, you get to keep all the funds at the end, no matter what. I mean, you can still do a. This only gets funded if it meets the goal, kind of. Yes. Thing on Indiegogo, um, but yeah, you you the benefit of doing Indiegogo is that you can do a, like. We'll just take whatever money we make, even if we don't meet the goal. Yeah, because we, we can still do something with it. Mm -hmm. um, Interesting. The problem, though, I think with Indiegogo is I just honestly feel like it's hard to market yourself. If that, you're if you're running an Indiegogo campaign, because people don't look at Indiegogo for games. Yeah, I feel like there's a stigma. Almost. Maybe not a stigma. Maybe that's I, not I don't right think there's word. a stigma. It's just not... It's... You have to like be really looking for yeah exactly an indie game if you're going because to Indiegogo. Because most people go to Kickstarter. Exactly, and it's it's so easy to find things on Kickstarter. Okay, so I think we just go back. Yeah, go to scenario select though. There is definitely. Oh yeah, and this is locked. Oh, yeah. So there's target, which so we just did nine. So now we'll go through ten. This is super weird. Yeah, I'm but not... this is this is what we were talking about. That's unlocked. Long before Thomas, blah blah blah. There were other AI. They were prototypes, tests. We were shocked when one amongst thousands 
developed a powerful something. trait. Hope. Oh. Benjamin and his father climbed between the rocks. If they moved fast enough, they could probably see the fountain before darkness fell. Benjamin had brought sandwiches especially. They had no crusts. Benjamin's father insisted on that. They were meticulously crafted, packed away in neat boxes. Hmm. For as many cycles as he could remember, Benjamin had made the climb with his father. Every time, the glow felt closer, more tangible. Benjamin hoped that one day, He'd be able to reach out and touch it. So these are the prototypes. The prototypes. Huh. That explains why they don't necessarily fall into the main game. So I guess these are just like bonus levels? Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I guess that would explain how it doesn't spoil anything for us to be able to play these games early. But then there's that other thing that's locked, though, that makes me think that... Yes. That, that like, you, there's still more story left. Yeah, I unless that's just like a... It could just be more, like, random levels, though, too. It could be, yeah. I guess we'll see. I, I, I mean, honestly, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't go through these. No, absolutely not. So, yeah, so we're, we're going to keep go doing this. Them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I don't know if I'll finish it all tonight. I might. Depends how long it takes. I, I think we'll be able to do it. Because these levels aren't as long. Because, like, 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 level... Chapter 9 got pretty long at the end. Those last two mm -hmm. levels were, like... Oh, 1831 cycles later. Huh. There's, uh... Okay. Benjamin ran. His father had sent word that it was ready, but it was actually done. What if these are like all of the um, the stories that everyone else heard about? Because isn't Benjamin the name of one of the other characters? Oh, there have been a few misfires. Benjamin had seen the rectangle who tested Mark Twenty Six. More of a trapezium now. I remember Laura at one point did talk about. The friends that, like, abandoned her. Yeah. I wonder if these two are those two squares. I don't know. Huh. That's a little weird. Power jetpack? What? The jetpack was glorious. What? what? Benjamin's father motioned to the switches he'd made, told him to fly to them. Slowly. <laughs> this is awesome. It's super cool. And it just keeps going? Does it go forever? I guess so. That's kind of cool. That explains why that wasn't in the main game. Yeah, right. That'd be so it's be like... powerful. So I wonder if these levels were just like Mike Bethel toying around with a bunch of ideas. Hitting the yeah. sequence as quickly as possible. He was dying to test this out properly. To fly to the fountain. <laughs> We're done with the fountain again. I mean, we all know what the fountain is. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like, imagine in the, the pre-production stage when you're just like prototyping a million different ideas. This would be uh, a fun one. Like... It, it'd be kind of fun to just like include all of the like various yeah, game mechanics right. you made just just a for fun up to the fountain the Benjamin was sure his father wouldn't mind the locked doors were uh, a precaution the spike walls a friendly reminder to be aware of his surroundings that combination lock on the jetpack had after all been exceptionally easy to guess Ooh. <laughs> Man, this is like super platformer stuff right here. Yeah. <laughs> Just want to fly free. Bam. But then, yeah, imagine, imagine what this game would be like had that jetpack been in there. Yeah, right. Now, this almost looks like Laura, but was done. Say anus? 
Anna. Oh, okay, like I was what a started. terrible name. Enus was done. Importantly, it was an adventure she could have alone. Hmm. Whoop, that did not work. No, no, it definitely did not work. <laughs> I got this. I got this. No. No, what about going the other way? I'm not, not like that. Like this way? <laughs> Worked out great. Whoa. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Until cool. you land on the spikes over cool. there. Cool. <laughs> Sometimes. Whoop. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Do I finish this one up and then we'll uh, we'll go next episode? Yes. Let's do that. Bam. Uh. Oh. Oh. Man. I was really worried I was just gonna die. Die. Yeah. I right, just flying some spikes. But she hadn't been alone. And. They had seen her. <laughs> but why is it? Why is there a light source there? I just yeah. want to know. Right? Okay, you're, you're good. Boom. All right. Ooh. So next, woo. It's a little laggy. Okay. Well, let's see if they say anything. Oh, you're gonna have to use them. Oh, right, jetpack. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "What am what I gonna kind do?" Of baloney is this? <laughs> okay, so let's let's plan on wrapping this up in the next episode. So next episode might be a little long, yeah. Unless like Zone Eleven or whatever it is has like fifty levels, but yeah, then 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 we'll rethink that. Yeah. Um. But how about that end though? To like the main game at least. Yeah, yeah. So I guess question of the day is probably going to be along those lines of what do you think it meant? Like, what yeah. is the ultimate conclusion? Is it just that the AI left the computers, or, or I don't know, is it something more? Is it something less? Like, because it was something ominous with all the red lights going too. Is it just saying that the security breach was all leaving? Yeah, right. Or is something more happening? And and even more so, is the conclusion unsatisfying? Like. I feel like we don't totally know what we're striving for for most of the game. We never really figure out what the the black cloud thing was, other than maybe like a security protocol. Maybe that yeah, was the maybe security it was. system. Maybe it was the security system. Um, so yeah, I just want to hear what you guys think about the end of the game. Also, let's know if we missed anything. Cause it's possible because you know yes. we, we talk while this happens, and so we'll miss some of the dialogue here and there. So maybe we did miss a really important piece to what the black cloud was, mm -hmm. or you know what was going on that whole time. Um, but yeah, make sure guys to uh, vote for what you want to see next. The next game that you want yeah. to see. Yeah, because we'll probably play it. Well, we will play it. So I mean, that's the whole reason we changed the voting system. I know. Let's give you guys more power. <laughs> yeah, more power to the people. Unless nothing gets votes, in which case then we, we just kinda, choose our yeah, own. Yeah, what we do game, is we um <laughs> we, we put the three images on intangibles chest and we throw darts at it. Oh, uh, that's a good one way to do the it. Most blood. That's the game. Now, whichever one we hit. No, yeah, whichever one like has most red on it by the end. Thank you for watching, I'll everyone. I'll try all night. Thanks for dealing with this guy. Oh, screw you. <laughs> Bye, See everyone. See you guys in the next episode. <laughs>